Hello and welcome to the fifth MCQ video on analog electronics. In this video, I'll be mainly focusing on the transistor questions. That is the BJT transistor questions. As we all know, transistors are three terminal active devices made of different semiconductor materials that can be either act as an insulator or conductor small signal voltage. The transistor's ability to change between these two states enable it to have two basic functions that is switching function and amplification function. And the bipolar transistors have the ability to operate within three different regions you may be knowing active region, saturation region and cutoff region. Okay, so in this I will be discussing more about the transistor question. So let us get started. The current gain of an NPN transistor in CE configuration is defined as the ratio of collector current to the base current, emitter current, supply current, collector current. Here you go. And the answer is base current. So the current gain in common emitter configuration is defined as the ratio of collector current to the base current so in the common emitter configuration the common emitter or grounded emitter is there the input signal is applied between the base and the emitter while the output is taken from the collector and the emitter as you can see in the diagram this type of configuration is of most importance and it is used in amplifiers And the common emitter configuration produces the highest current and power gain of all the three bipolar transistor configuration the other configuration being common base and common collector and this is mainly because the input impedance is very low in this case as it is connected to a forward bias pn junction while the output impedance is high as it is taken from the reverse bias pn junction okay so in this case we have ie equal to ic plus ib and the current gain is defined as beta equal to ic by ib and then again there is a common base configuration and in that current gain is given by alpha equal to ic by ie so we can also form a relationship between beta which is the current gain in common gain uh, common emitter configuration and alpha which is a current gain in common base configuration and the relation is beta equal to alpha by 1 minus alpha and alpha equal to beta by 1 plus beta the plot of current gain versus collector current indicates that the current gain is constant varies slightly varies significantly equals the collector current divided by the base current and here you go and the answer is current gain varies slightly current gain varies slightly with respect to the collector current because at one stage it achieves the saturation point it says that how much current gain we can expect from a device this float when the base resistance of an npn transistor increases the collector voltage will probably decrease stay the same increase all of the above and here you go the answer is decrease if the resistance increases then the voltage drop across the resistance also increases so it does not provide the exact voltage to the load hence according to the increase in collector resistance we have to increase the collector voltage to provide the rated voltage to the load so this collector voltage will probably decrease when the base resistance of an npn transistor is increased if the base resistance of an NPN transistor is very small, the transistor will operate in the cutoff region, active region, saturation region, all of the above. And here you go. The answer is saturation region. If the base resistance is very small, then the base current is very high. And we know that the base current is directly proportional to the collector current with the multiplying factor of current gain that is ic equal to beta ib from the expression 
so the value of the collector current is enormously getting high and in this time the transistor will operate in the saturation region many free electrons in an npn transistor emitter regions means that emitter is lightly doped heavily doped not doped none of the above and here you go. and the answer is heavily dope many free electrons means heavy doping in a normally biased npn transistor the electrons in the emitter have enough energy to overcome the barrier potential of the base emitter junction base collector junction collector base junction recombination path and here you go and the answer is base emitter junction the flow of electron from the collector to emitter is controlled by the base to emitter electrons which has a certain potential energy and we know that the electron from the collector to emitter is very strong there is a chance of affecting the base emitter junction by the heavy potential energy from the collector electron so the electrons in the emitter should have enough energy to overcome the barrier potential of the base emitter junction which among the following is the most important fact about the collector current it is measured in milliamperes it equals the base current divided by the current gain it is small it approximately equals the emitter current and here you go and the answer is it approximately equals the emitter current according to uh, diagrams previously shown uh, by applying kcl we obtain that the emitter current is equal to base current plus collector current that is ie equal to ic plus ib and since the base current is very less than the collector current it is it can be neglected hence the emitter current can be approximated to the collector current value in a pnp transistor the majority carriers in the emitter are free electrons holes neither both and here you go the answer is holes in an pnp transistor the majority carriers in the emitter are the holes if the current gain of an npn transistor in common emitter configuration is 100 and the collector current is 10 milliamps the base current is 10 microamps 100 microamps 1 amps 10 amps and here you go and the answer is 100 micro amperes we know that beta equal to ic by ib or ib is equal to ic by beta if you substitute these values you will obtain it as 100 micro amps in a normally biased npn transistor the base emitter voltage is usually less than the base supply voltage equal to the base supply voltage more than the base supply voltage none of these and here you go and the answer is less than the base supply voltage in a normally biased npn transistor the collector emitter voltage is usually less than the collector supply voltage equal to the collector supply voltage more than the collector supply voltage none of these and here you go and the answer is less than the collector supply voltage because there is a voltage drop across the collector resistance and it draws the voltage from the input voltage or the collector supply voltage so the collector emitter voltage is the difference of the collector supply voltage and the voltage drop across the collector resistance thus the collector emitter voltage is always less than the collector supply voltage power dissipated by a transistor approximately equals the collector current times base emitter voltage collector emitter voltage base supply voltage 0.7 volt and here you go and the answer is collector current times the collector emitter voltage again we are considering mainly the common emitter 
configuration. The power dissipated by a transistor is calculated by multiplying the collector current and the collector emitter voltage and the power dissipation is nothing, nothing but the output power that can be consumed by the transistor. Thus the output power is calculated as collector current times collector emitter voltage. A small collector current with zero base current is caused by leakage current of emitter diode, collector diode, base diode, transistor and here you go. And the answer is collector diode and this mainly happens in the cutoff condition during this time the base current is zero in this period the emitter depletion region is very much narrower than the collector depletion region because of the forward bias at the collector and higher doping levels hence there would be a small leakage current which will be flowing through the collector diode by this leakage current the small collector current is generated if the base current of an NPN transistor in common emitter configuration is 100 milliamps and the current gain is 50, the emitter current is 5.1 milliampere, 5 ampere, 5.1 ampere, 50 ampere. And here you go. And the answer is 5.1 ampere. You can obtain it from the equations beta equal to IC by IB and IE equal to IC plus IB. Junction transistor was invented by Bell, Faraday, Marconi, Shockley. And here you go. And the answer is Shockley. The junction transistor was invented by William Shockley at Bell Labs on June 23rd, 1948. The barrier potential across each silicon depletion layer is 0 volt, 0 0.3 volts, 0 0.7 volts, 1 volt. And here you go. And the answer is 0 0.7 volt. For silicon de depletion layer, the barrier potential is 0.7 volt and for germanium depletion layer, the barrier potential is normally 0.3 volts. In an NPN transistor, majority carriers in the emitter are free electrons, holes, neither, both. And here you go. And the answer is free electrons. That is in NPN transistor, the majority current carriers are the free electrons. The emitter diode of an NPN transistor is usually forward bias, reverse bias, non-conducting, operating in the breakdown region. And again, it, it is for the common emitter configuration. And here you go. And the answer is forward bias. In typical operation, the base emitter junction is forward bias, which means that the P doped side of the junction is connected with positive potential and the N doped side of the junction is connected with the negative potential. Hence, the base junction acts as a diode in the forward bias and that is why it is called an emitter diode. For normal operation of the transistor, the collector diode has to be forward bias, reverse bias, non-conducting, operating in the breakdown region. Here you go. And the answer is reverse biased. In typical operation, the base collector junction is reverse biased, which means that the p dop side of the junction is connected with the lower or negative potential and the n dop side of the junction is connected with the higher or positive potential. Hence the base junction acts as a diode in the reverse bias that is why it is called a collector diode. The base of an NPN transistor is thin and heavily doped, lightly doped, metallic, doped by pentavalent material. And here you go. And the answer is lightly doped. In an NPN transistor the base and collector are lightly doped 
And that is all for this video. Thank you for watching.